game of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble, and every move can be your last. Welcome once again to High Rollers, ladies and gentlemen. We're glad you could be with us once again. And, uh, well, we didn't give away a whole lot of money last time, but at least some money's better than nothing, right? Uh, Brandon Scruggs, our returning champion, took $8,000 from us last time. Brandon, welcome back. Oh, glad to be back, Marky Mark. All right, and, uh, well, it's almost uh, Halloween. Any ideas for uh, some potential costumes? Oh, yeah, costumes have already been picked out for this year. So, we, uh, my wife is going to be a fairy. I'm going to use the power of prestidigitation to become a, a wizard. Ah, a very nice combo, I might add. All right, uh, best of luck to you. Uh, Neil, welcome back to High Rollers. Hello, Mark. Good to be here again. Yeah, uh, Neil's been on our show before. Uh, and of course, if you, uh, of course, if he looks uh, very familiar, uh, that's because he was on the episode of Daytime Wheel that we taped yesterday. And uh, I won't go into specifics about that in case you folks haven't watched that yet. But uh, of course, uh, well, from what we know about Neil, uh, he likes to collect Hot Wheels cars, a big Power Ranger fan, a big game show fan. And uh, you have a birthday coming up, too. Is that correct? Yeah, a little bit. All right. So, uh, maybe uh, a little early birthday uh, cash and some prizes would be pretty nice. And, that would be awesome. And speaking of prizes, here are the ones uh, that you and Brandon could possibly win in game number one. All right, we've got a billiards table in column one, along with the Nissan Juke, the swim spa, the trip to Africa, the cell phones, one year of service. That column's still full. Column number two, a trip to Switzerland, a bar set. A camper, a Mazda 6i, an E2 inch DLP HD TV. So that column's full. Column number three, a trip to Aspen, a child's room, perfect for Dells, uh, a Jeep Wrangler Excuse Sport. Excuse you? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, and a barbecue. So altogether, the board value is $156,903. Here come the numbers. And our hot column is column number three for roll of 11. All right. And Brandon is the champion, so he is going to be using the Z key. Neil, you are going to be using the M key. And here is your first question, players. What film told the story of Anna's claim to be a Russian czar's daughter? And that is Brandon. Would that be Anastasia? That would be it. And nice. you may roll the dice. I shall. Come on, give me an 11. You have a 9. All right, I will take... Um, I'll take the 9 by itself, please. All right, all the numbers are still good. Here is your next question. What kind of animal is referred to as a canine? And... <clears throat> Well, it's saying Neil, according to this game, so. That would be a dog. Woof, woof. That's dog four, you're right. Uh, go oh. ahead and roll. I'm cringing already. Uh, come on. Why is my keyboard not working? Oh, that's why. I'm pushing the wrong damn key. Mm. <laughs> yeah, enter key. All right, you've got a six, Neil. All right. Um, hmm. Let's do the two and the four. All right. So the two is now a bad number, but that's just a free turn anyway. Next question, and this is multiple choice, so pay attention. Baseball pitch, frisbee throw, bull riding method. Which of those is a macho sidewinder? Brandon. 
That would better be a baseball pitch. That is actually a frisbee throw. Really? Yep. Oh. So, Neil, the option is yours. All right, I will <clears throat> roll. All righty. <clears throat> a six again. All right. Um. Let's do the one and the five. Very well. So now the four and five are bad numbers. What macho superstar is known to movie audiences as Bronco Billy and Dirty Harry? Brandon. Would that be Clint Eastwood? Yes, Clint Eastwood is correct, and you have the option. I will roll, please. All righty. <clears throat> looking for a seven, eight, or nine. I'll take any of the above. Seven, eight, or nine. And, well, you got a seven. I'll take call number one for you. I'll give you call right. number one. Seven it is. All right. $74,000 worth of goodies, but those will all be yours if you win this round. All right. Vice, Rear, and Fleet are ranks of these officers in the U.S. Navy. What kind of officers are they? Brandon? Admirals? They are admirals. All right, what do you want to do? I will pass. All right, the dice are yours, Neil. All right, here we go. And, well, you're still alive with the six. All right, six by itself. So now, if either of you should get an 11, that'll be a board clear and a game one win. Here's your next question. On a restaurant menu, what three-word French phrase means each dish is ordered and paid for separately? Brandon. That would be a la carte. Yes, sir. What would you like to do? All right, Neil, impress me. Roll an 11. All right. <laughs> well, before Neil rolls, I just will say this. You're probably glad that I chose not to do the French accent. As always. Yeah. As you. always, because we know you can't do it. Well, you're not wrong. Uh, go ahead, Neil. <laughs> so you right. It's kind of bad, but we'll work on it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, 11. It's a nine. Game one. Yeah. I thought he had it. I saw the five. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, no. Well, Brandon, in that one round, you already won a lot more this match than you did in all of that last game. And as such, call one is going to start fresh with, oh god, Marty's favorite, a boat. It's a boat! <laughs> a boat! Anyways, call number two is still full. And call number three is now going to be full, because in addition to the four prizes there, we are now going to add an exercise cycle. All right, so the board value now is 94,715, and here come the numbers. Three. Call number three. All right. And even though Dallas is not playing this episode, I'm going to have to add $10,000 to his score. No, you don't. No, you don't. I didn't realize that wasn't actually a thing. Yeah. Like, I, I've been getting lucky the last few times. I was yeah, playing. and actually, I actually instituted that shortly after the season started. Just the, the new gimmick for this I was season. So, I was so lucky. Well, thanks for telling all the new players this, Mark. Appreciate it, but nonetheless. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> what did the initials HMS stand for? Yeah. Repeat that again. What do the initials HMS stand for? We would accept his and her majesty's ship or his and her majesty's service. All right. Uh, All right. Let's see how we do with this one, players. What well, honorary Kentucky colonel claimed it's finger licking good? Brandon. That better be Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders is correct. All right. And the dice are yours. All right. All rolls good. Let's get some numbers. Come to nine. Seven. Huh. Okay. Um. 
Seven by itself, please. All right. And here is the next question. <clears throat> in 1908, what organization began placing Bibles in hotel rooms and hospitals? Oh, what's the name of the organization? <clears throat> I know I've heard of them. Gideon's. And, yeah, that's... And yes, no, that was a Bible question, so shoot me. <laughs> I'm mean, so that was... That's, you're lucky. Yeah, but if you were playing, you probably would shoot me. I would. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, Mark, moving you on. Find a way to shoot yourself. <laughs> uh, moving swiftly along, as Hunter Dillon would put it, what natural catastrophe is recorded with a seismograph? Brandon. That would be an earthquake. Earthquake. Nell's passing right, gas. And the dice are yours once again. Trevor, you're a dick. Hell, that could be me passing gas. That's <laughs> only after Taco Tuesday. But nonetheless, <laughs> um, let's go and get a nine. Come on, guys. There's your nine. Oh, yeah, baby. Give me the six. Give me the one. Give me the two. And that calm is all yours for now. What industrial city in the U.S. is known as the Motor City? Brandon. That would be Detroit, Michigan. Yes, sir. All right, and there are no now motor. some bad numbers on the board there, so what do you want to do? Let's see. Dodge a six and a ten. That's only, let's see, five and four combination. No, it's five and three, so eight gone, so. Eight out of 36. So one out, a three out of four chance I still roll something good. I'll roll it. All right. <laughs> No! Yeah, I... <laughs> wow. Game two goes yeah. to the video. Wow. That was one of them five rolls you didn't need. Yep, and I managed to hit it. Odds were in his favor, and he... Ugh. Well... The bods were in his well, favor. Well, we're going to go to a tiebreaker. That's what we're going to do. And uh, you might get those prizes again, uh, Brandon. But we're now going to add an espresso machine to the boat and call number one. A depresso machine. No, life's depressing enough. We don't need number. Yeah. <laughs> and call number three still full. Board value is now ninety-six thousand three fifteen. Here's the number. No column. Actually, we do have a hot column, and it's call number Dang three. It, you didn't let me guess. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, first question in this round. According to the song, on what day of Christmas would I give my true love three French hands? Brandon. That would be the third day. Yes. And I'm not going to sing it because A, my singing voice is terrible. You all know that. And B, it's not Christmas for another couple of months. But nonetheless, the dice Thank are you. yours. I don't want you to be like those people that start putting up their Christmas decorations in September. Like, why? Yeah, I'm not going to be that guy. Okay, mine oh, goes up oh, next, <laughs> mine goes up in like three weeks. Yeah, in, three weeks, weeks. in November, which is reasonable. I'm talking about people that started putting it up in September. I'm like, no. I think Brandon mm -hmm. Hinkle's Christmas tree's up. Yes, it is, I believe. <laughs> it did not. It's not even Halloween yet for crying out loud. Uh, uh, anyways, well, Brandon, you have an eight. I will say there are some people that actually keep their tree up all year round and just redecorate it for whatever season. Those are kind of cool. That's not bad, though. That, no, it's, then it's a Halloween tree or an Easter tree or whatever. Exactly. Not a Christmas Easter tree. tree September. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's take the, the eight by itself. All right. Sorry, we'll eight right now. Okay. By what nickname do we call the numbering system of the Postal Service's zone improvement deal? Dang it. That would be the zip code. Yes, and you get to roll. All right. You don't want to have zip codes, Mark. Well, yeah, up here we have postal codes, but this is U.S. Like, stuff, so I got to go with that. Uh, you have a six, Neil. No, you don't. <laughs> um, hmm. Everybody needs to be tested. <laughs> uh, I'll, see. I'll do... 
I'll do the four and two. All right, four and two it is. Bring. All right. All right, multiple choice on this one. Uh, all right. In the TV show Happy Days, what work did Mr. Cunningham do for a living? An accountant, hardware store owner, or insurance salesman? Neil. Hardware store. Yes, he was a hardware store owner. All right. Shows uh, the, a lot, by all way. right, the two is uh, essentially a free turn, so uh, dice are yours, pretty much. All right, let's go. And there's an 11. Ooh. And there's two ways you can do this. Either one of them will give you a column. I'll take column number three, Mark. Okay. So there you go. And here is your next question. Uh, this is true or false. Shadows are shorter during the summer. Brandon. False. That is actually a true statement. So, Neil, you have the option. Hmm. I think I'm going to pass. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pass. All right. Five, six, nine, or 11. Come on. Let's do it right. Give me nine. Well, oh. uh, that's your free roll because uh, two is uh, no good. All right, let's try again. Come on, give me a nine. No, you can't. Eleven, that'll give you column two. Six and five, please. <laughs> Six and now five. Now we only have the nine left. Oh, this is getting oh, really very boy. exciting. All right, what type of animal swims in pods? <laughs> Brandon? Dolphin? Whales. Mm. Although, I do actually want to check that real quick. I think dolphins may as well, but... You know what? I am going to uh, check that, just to be absolutely fair. Dolphins. You imbecile! Okay. All right. So, according to the book I'm using, it says whales, but the information I'm looking up says that dolphins do, in fact, swim in pods. So, tech, so that means you're correct. Yeah. All right, what do you want to do? What do you want to pass, Neil? <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> Well, you would have done the same to me, and I would have accepted Yeah. Too, All so. right. Uh -huh. uh, Neil, a nine will make you the new champion. Otherwise, Brandon will successfully defend. All right. Here we go. Or maybe not. Seven. Brandon is still a champion. Very good game. Very good game, Neil. All right. Oh, my bad. $120,363 in this game for you, Brandon. Well done. Neil, you're taking $1,000 away from us. So well done there. And when we add all this to what you won in your previous game, Brandon, you now have a two-day total so far of $128,363. And I'm saying so far because you could become our third jackpot winner of the season in just a moment. <laughs> Let's head to the big numbers, and we will see what happens. Mark has gone to the bonus run next. Take Neil's control away from him. All right, Brandon, here we go again. And uh, go ahead and roll. Ooh, the magical golden dice. I have my shield. Come on. Nine. You have a seven to start off. Seven plays by itself. Okay, well. And go again. Come on, I need at least a nine to have a chance at this. Six. 
Really? We're going to do this game again? Fine. Six, please. All right. $2,000. Come on. I need a nine. We have an eight. You're getting close. All right. Pulling teeth one at a time. Eight, please. By All right. And you have an insurance marker now. <laughs> again, I can't win this unless I roll a nine. And it's a two. The only way you can do that is the two. All right, take the two off. And that's how many markers you have now. Go again. I would still like to find a nine. Well, you found a five instead. Good. All right. Um. Two ways. I'll take the five by itself. All right. And go again. Come on, I need a nine. Dang it. Six. So I'm gonna need one of those markers. Okay. Still again, come on, still looking for a nine. There one we go. One off, it's a 10, but you can oh. use the nine for it. And you also that have works. to use the one as well. Yep, that's fine, nine and one. That's, that's even now better. Now seven will give you the $100,000. You also got your marker back. All right, come on. Seven would be make it so easy. Seven dice! Well, there's a ten, but you can't use it this time, so I'm going to need that. Uh, so, actually, no. Uh, I don't need to take a marker back. You just get to roll again. It's toying with you, Brandon. It's toying with you. Of course it is. A dice dealer myself. Of course the dice are going to mess with me more so than anybody else. Come on, Seven! <laughs> Nine! Oh, Overshot it by two. But you still have one marker left, so you're still okay. Alright, I will still take a seven to win. Come on, seven for the winner! Oh. <laughs> well, uh, at least you got a double with that, so you're still doing okay. <sighs> oh, Lord. Oh, come on. <laughs> Killing me here. I just want a simple seven. Five, two! He got it! A five two. Very well done, Brandon. Yahtzee, baby. Alrighty. Two hundred twenty-eight thousand three sixty-three for your two-day total, and you have also moved up into the top four for TOC ranking. Let's go, baby. Yeah. And I. Do you believe that may be the, the most we've ever given away to a single player in any one episode this season? Woo! Anyways, we'll be back. Uh, we're going to wrap this up. But. Hmm. Oh, man. That was. Brandon, you're not only our third jackpot winner this season, you're also now in the top four for a TOC ranking. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty good, but I also feel like I could win more. So. Well, you'll have a chance to win more in our next episode. See you then.